Hi, I'm David from Friedman's. Today, we're going to show you how to clean and condition the World Cup Super Grip saddle and maintain this type of sticky or tacky leather. Here is the method that we use to clean this saddle for op optimum cleanliness and grip. This leather is a little bit different than all the other leathers that are out on the market and takes a little bit different care and maintenance. We will be using the following products. Saddle soap, either in a liquid form or in a cake form. Oakwood conditioner. And some lukewarm water. You can use your lukewarm water to build a foam to start to clean the saddle. You start to work the soap in on the panels on the bottom side of the sa saddle making sure you clean off any sweat stains or dirt or grime that you see along the way. This saddle has just come back in from demo and it's got quite a bit of dirt on it so we've got quite a bit of cleaning to do here today. Work the soap in on a lather, work it in a circular fashion. Make sure you cover all parts of the saddle, up in the gullet, all the way to the cantle. Why am I using saddle soap versus one of the other cleaners on the market, and why do I like saddle soap so much, is that where leather comes in contact with the horse, it's very difficult to keep the pH level balanced in the leather. And over years, and over a lot of different work that's been done, they have found out that by trying to keep the pH balanced level in the leather, they have found that the fatty acids in the, found in these soaps mix well with the salt that's found in the animal's sweat to balance things out. So for years and years, hundreds of years, saddle soap's been used on leather and it's lasted over the years mostly because of that balancing. So I got these panels nice and clean, wiped off. Now I can continue with the buckle pads or the buckle flaps, billet flaps. Make sure you get everything underneath. And I'm just trying to scrape away here all of the grime that is on the edges of the saddle where it's come in contact with the horse and the horse is sweated. We get a little bit more soap. And you can soap up your billets. Making sure you get all of the dirt off of them. Now that we've thoroughly cleaned the bottom side of the saddle and the panels, we can flip it over and start cleaning the top side. We'll work the soap in the same manner. Build a little bit of a foam. Start to rub it in. First, I like to do the skirts. And of course, under the skirts and underneath the adjustable bar. A little bit up here in the head plate. A lot of times, a lot of dirt and grime gets caught up in under here. We have D-rings in the front of our saddles for draw rain, so those have to be cleaned in that area. And go over to the other side. Lastly, I work up a little bit more lather, and then I do the seat. Back of the cantle. Again, working it in circular fashion. When you're done, you come back with a rag and, again, wipe off all the excess. Now give your saddle a little bit of time to dry. Now that you have your saddle clean, the best way to maintain the suppleness and softness is by using oakwood conditioner. You can work this oakwood into the panels and everywhere else on the bottom side of the saddle. Now, depending on how soft you want all this bridle leather to be that's attached, you have to use more oakwood if you want it softer and less if you want it stiffer, because this will really condition and nourish this leather. At this spot, I like to put on 
my oak wood on the back of my billets because I can press down on them and make sure that it goes into the leather just because the saddle's upside down, sitting upside down, so it's a lot easier to work with. Then I turn it over and I work them either out or on to this buckle pad or the buckle flap. Now I go through the inside of the flap. Again, circular motion. These are leather solids that we have here on the inside and they're vegetable tanned because we wrap our cruiser leather around the outside of it. So these have to be conditioned as well. Now that we have the bottom side of the saddle and the panels and the flaps and the skirts, inside all conditioned. What I like to do is I like to leave the conditioner on, let it soak in, let it take some time and absorb into the leather, and I flip the saddle over. Start the same process on the top side. Again with your oak wood, small sponge, easy to handle. I start up here on the skirt, work in a circular motion, making sure that I get it even all the way through. Now this conditioner that we're using, Oakwood, works really, really well on this leather. Keeps it activated, keeps it sticky. Now that you have your saddle cleaned and conditioned, I like to put a little bit of friction to work this really nice Oakwood into the saddle. And there's no better way to do it than with your own hands. So I just work the Oakwood into the saddle with my hand, pressing, working it in, making sure that it absorbs into the leather. I like to take time with this. I like to be able to feel the leather, feel the conditioner sort of move into it. And once I've worked it in, I just give it a few more minutes to allow it to soak in and then I buff it off. I'm gonna flip it over, continue the same process on the bottom. Starting the panels, wiping off some of the excess with your hand. Back of the billet flaps back of the big flaps, even into the billets. I do advise you when you're working with these billets and looking at the saddle at this level, that you do a safety check as often as possible. That way you'll know if anything's going wrong with your saddle, what the current condition is, and when you're gonna need some repair and maintenance. Now that we've got the oak wood worked in, pass a soft cloth over it, just to buff off any Excess. Now we'll flip it over. Start underneath the skirts, the big flaps. Make sure you don't have it built up in the front area at all, around the name nails or around the rivets or D rings. Buff it all in good. See, there's a little bit of a light luster to it. Gives it a finished look, show ready look. Buff off the seat. Sometimes you sort of gotta just make a little corner with your rag and run it through the welt, put a little pressure on it just to get out any excess that may have got clogged up in there when you're rubbing the uh, sponge across there with your oak wood. I'm David Friedman with Care and Maintenance with the World Cup Super Grip Saddle. Thanks for watching.